Welcome back. You're watching World 360 with me, Akanksha Swaroop. Now, the U.S. Senate has been consistently extending support to India, especially when it comes to the issue of China and the LAC. Two U.S. senators have teamed up to introduce a bipartisan resolution reaffirming America's recognition of the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh as an integral part of India. The resolution supports India's sovereignty and territorial integrity, condemning China for the use of military force, that too, to change the status quo at the line of actual control and its other provocations. And it has also lauded Indian government for the steps it has taken to defend itself against the aggression and security threats from China. Now, the resolution also states that Chinese provocations impede poverty alleviation and economic development in Arunachal Pradesh. And with that, I bring you all the latest updates that are making news across the globe in world in a minute. North Korea has reportedly fired a ballistic missile which seems to have landed in Japan's economic exclusion zone. This is what Japanese and South Korean officials have stated. This development comes just ahead of the upcoming United States-South Korea joint drills in Washington next week. China's Islamabad embassy has shut down its consular section in Pakistan for an indefinite time, citing technical reasons. The decision comes after a growing sense of security concerns against Chinese nationals in Pakistan. Issuing a notice through its embassy website, China has also advised its citizens to be extremely cautious against any threats. And Hollywood megastar Bruce Willis' health condition has worsened. His family has issued a new statement after almost a year of confirming the actor's initial diagnosis of aphasia. Bruce Willis is now confirmed to have frontotemporal dementia. The anomaly is hindering his ability to communicate. And that's all I have for you in this edition of World 360. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back same time next week.